here is another brain in a midline sagittal or median cut in which you could see nice normal cerebral uh, convolutions, gyri and salsi. Cerebellum looks pretty good. Corpus callosum looks pretty good. The general pons and midbrain area, however, is not only sort of enlarged, but you can start to see some irregular signals. This is an MRI uh, right here, and perhaps lesser up here. If this is a tumor, it is not very well defined, is it? And unfortunately, we have that same problem uh, with the gross uh, picture as well. Because if you look at it, you can see a normal cerebellum, a normal cerebrum, a normal corpus callosum. But look at this pons and midbrain area. There seems to be some irregularity, enlargement, uh, but very, very poorly defined. And why is that? Well, the reason why is because even microscopically, it's very difficult to define this as well. Notice in the northeast is generally pinker than the southwest, but there is no really good delineation line. Here in the southwest, we have some northeast looking tissue, and here in the northeast, we have some southwest looking tissue. Here we have a little bit of a fold, and here we probably have a cutting artifact. Let's zoom in on it if we can. Notice, once again, there's a pinker, more normal brain appearing area, or perhaps terribly gliotic, but then the uh, southwestern section looks very, very, very cellular. And not only does the southwest section look very, very cellular, but you could see even though the cells here generally maintain uh, semblances to normal glial cells, there is a little bit of a variation in size and staining properties. Here is almost like a tract of normal or gliotic brain tissue. Here is the glioma. You can see it's very poorly defined. Now I'm going to go to a classical normal area up here now if you take a look. And uh, you could see uh, a cerebral blood vessel. You could see some kind of normal looking brain tissue, although there is an increase in glial cells possibly reactive. And now I'm going to go down to this area that looks solidly tumor and notice the difference. Oh, uh, look at this. 99% of these cells are neoplastic glial cells. There will appear to be some little residual tracks of brain here somewhere. But that's why this tumor looked very, very poorly delineated, both radiologically on the MRI as well as on the gross specimen. It's because it is. And this is very, very typical for many of the low-grade gliomas. Often, it is agonizingly difficult to differentiate a low-grade glioma from gliosis, not only radiologically and uh, uh, grossly but microscopically as well. There are a set of criteria that help differentiate gliosis from gli low-grade gliomas, but sometimes it really comes down to the wire. Nevertheless, I think in this case we could pretty safely say this is not gliosis, this is a glioma, because in the tumor areas like this, they all look like uh, tumor cells for the usual reasons although they are not highly, bizarrely pleomorphic and necrotic like we see with the high-grade gliomas, i.e. glioblastoma multiformes. Thank you very much.